Hello and welcome to Circle Time. Hi, Sue. Our friends are here. Would you like to help me say hello to them? <laughs> That's sweet, Sue. Well, Sue, we're going to today review some letters and some patterns. Before we do that, though, let's get started with our calendar time. Let's reach into our can and see how we will count. What does it say, Sue? It says we're going to take a bow. So are you ready to take a bow as we count? Okay, let's do it. Okay, one, take a bow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Today is March 7th. Can you say that? March 7th. Very good. If you go up to the top of the calendar, you can see today starts with a T. So the day of the week starts with the letter T. What day do you think that might be? T sounds like this, t -t 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 -t, like a ticking clock. What day says t -t 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 at the beginning? It is t -t 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 Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. For you to check the weather. So Sue's going to go check outside and see what our weather looks like. And you go look out the window too. Check your weather. Is it sunny or is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Do you see the trees blowing? Is it windy? Did you check your weather? Okay, well, when I do like this, just shout out whatever your weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is. It is. It is. Out today. It is. It is. It is out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. Okay, Weather Bear, we're going to put on, I think we'll put on a t-shirt for Weather Bear and some pants. I think we'll put the jacket over here. It's starting to get warmer where we are. What is the season right now? The season is still winter. We have two more weeks until it's going to be the first day of spring on March the 20th. Well, that was our calendar and weather time. And now it's time for review. Today, we're going to pause and take a review day. Let's play a little game and see if we can remember all the letter sounds. I'm going to show you the hand motion that goes with the letter sound, and let's see if we can go from all the way from A to Z and get to the school. Okay, so the first letter is A, and what does A sound like? Ah, 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 as in, <laughs> good job. What's the next letter? B. And what does B sound like? B, 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 like popping bubbles. B, B, B. 
The next letter is C. And what does C say? As in cutting. What's the next letter? D. D says D, 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 like knocking on the door. D, D, D. What's this letter? That's letter E. And what does E say? Eh, 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 like old man E. Eh, what did you say, Sonny? Eh, eh. <laughs> What's the next letter? F. And what does F say? Like a firefly. What's this letter? Letter G. G says, G, 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 like gulping water. G, G, G. Next is letter H. And what does H sound like? Like you've been running and breathing hard. Next is letter I. And I says, I, 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 like an icky sticky lollipop. I. What about letter J, what does J say? J, 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 as in jump. J, J, J. Next is my letter. What letter is this? That's letter K from Miss Kathy. K sounds like this. K, 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 K. Like karate. K, 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 K. What letter is next? Letter L, and L says L, 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 as in la, 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 la. Next is letter M, and M says mmm, mmm, mmm. Next we have letter N, and what does N sound like? N, 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 as in no, N. Mm. Next is this letter. We learned this letter yesterday, actually, if you watched my video. This is letter O. And what does O say? Ah. Uh. Next, we have letter P. We'll learn that one tomorrow. P is for popcorn. Next we have Q, and what does Q sound like? Qua, 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 as in quiet. Qua, qua, qua. This is letter R. R says rrr, 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 like a motorcycle. Rrr. We'll ride a motorcycle and talk about R later this week. And then after R, we have letter S. S sounds like like a snake. Q R S then comes T, and T sounds like a ticking clock. After T comes U, and U has a tummy ache. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. After U comes the letter V, and V is for violin. W, W says w, 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 as in wake up. W, 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 wake up. Next is letter X, and X says x, 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 like a water squirter. X, x, x. Y is the next letter after X, and Y says e, e, 
E as in yell. E, E, E. Finally, we have letter Z. And Z says Z, like bumblebees buzzing. Z. <laughs> well, you did a great job with our letter review today. Today, we're going to read the book, The King of Kindergarten. So for art, we're going to make a crown. Let's head over to the art table and I'll show you how. So here we are at the art table. I'm just going to use glue, scissors, and paper to make a crown. I'm going to draw a line first to show you where I'm going to cut. Right in the middle, I'm going to make zig, zag lines like this, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Then I'm going to cut on those lines. Next, I'm going to put these together and I'm going to glue them. Just like that, just kind of match up the ends and glue that together. So now you have one big long strip. Now you can decorate your crown however you'd like to, but I think since we reviewed our letters today that I'm just going to put the alphabet on mine. I'm just gonna put the letters A and B and C just all over my crown in random order. Well, you could put them all in like in letter order, A, B, C, D, if you wanted to, or you could even use the letters in your name. When you're finished, just connect the other end so that it makes a circle like this. And there you have it. We have a little crown and it has all the alphabet on it. You can wear it proudly today. Well, let me read a story to us before we go. Well, here's my crown. I am the queen of kindergarten. <laughs> Our book today is called The King of Kindergarten. Let's read it together. Some of you are getting ready to go to kindergarten, I think. So this will be a fun book. It's by Derek Barnes and Vanessa Brantley Newton. The morning sun blares through your windows like a million brass trumpets. It sits and shines behind your head like a crown. Mommy says that today you're going to be the king of kindergarten. You'll use a golden brush to brush ye royal chiclets. You'll wash your own face with a cloth bearing the family crest. You'll dress yourself neatly in hand-picked garments from the far-off villages of Osh and Kosh. Be gosh, you'll begin to reign. My baby is heading to school. Mommy will say during breakfast, but you're not a baby. Could a baby wolf down a tower of pancakes the way you can? I don't think so. You're growing up fast, Daddy will say, and he'll be right. I can't stay the same size forever, can I? You'll say, one day I'll be taller than you, Daddy, and you'll be my little man. Daddy will laugh, but you won't be joking. Then a big yellow carriage will deliver you to a grand fortress. As you walk up the towering doors, you'll remember Mommy saying, hold your head high and greet everyone with a brilliant, beaming, majestic smile, for you are the king of kindergarten. Your teacher will welcome you with a warm smile and a friendly good morning. She'll be delighted by how you recite your name with pride. When you head to your royal seat, the kids at your round table will wave and say hi, like they've been waiting for you all summer. So you smile back return the wave and give them a cheerful, hi everybody. The truth is you couldn't wait to meet your kindergarten kingdom either. Your teacher will go over classroom rules and you'll all discuss important matters such as shapes, the alphabet and the never ending mystery of numbers. She'll even read a book about trucks, trains and tractors. Phew, it sounds like a lot, but you're the king of kindergarten, piece of cake. You will show your bravery at recess when you go up to one of your classmates and ask, Marie, 
do you want to play with me? Not only will she say yes, but she'll lead the way in helping you save the kingdom by battling a fire-breathing dragon. In the cafeteria, the boy sitting next to you will be missing dessert. You'll have packed your favorite chocolate pudding with an extra cup just in case. So you'll say to him, want a pudding, Howie? He'll say thanks, and you won't mind at all, because what could be cooler than sharing with new friends? After a royal rest, you'll arise to sing and dance and bop to a rhythmic beat. The day will be one you'll never forget. At the end of it, your teacher will wish you all a magnificent evening and bid you farewell until dawn. On your way back home, you'll think of all the things that you can't wait to tell your parents. I made a bunch of new friends. My teacher is nice and recess is the best thing ever. And tomorrow it will begin again another day as the charming, the wonderful, and the kind king of kindergarten. <laughs> the end. Well, Sue, you look like the queen of kindergarten. I like that crown with all the letters. Thanks for helping me review the letters today. And I'll see you tomorrow for letter P is for Pete the cat. I love my shoes. I'll see you then, everybody. Have a great day. Goodbye.